Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Let's see what we got for you today. We have a car that it was not very known worldwide. I'm I'm actually saying very little known beyond the home market of Japan. You know, back in the 60s where this car came out, these models were really more or less worried about being made for their market, not for the local market, not for the worldwide market, like I meant to say. But let's see what we got for you right now. We have a 143 scale 1967 Nissan Gloria. Now, this is actually the third generation of the Nissan Gloria. So, it was made between 1967 until 1971. I have to say, this car gives me American car all around. From the front to the back, especially the front. The front screams to me Ford Galaxy. I don't know why. It gives me that look, that shape. I'm not sure if they were as long as the Ford Galaxy. I don't think they were because... Four Galaxies were quite big, and I don't think Japanese cars like those big cars, but I'm thinking they were, you know, and but they definitely did not have the size engine of those Fords. These, these cars came in a 2.0, either a four-speed uh, manual or a three-speed automatic. They were also in, they also came out in a station wagon. So I guess, you know, station wagons always been the car that people like to haul their families, I guess, worldwide thinking, not just in North America, traveling. Also, the headlights, you know, I was just reading right now, it gave a lot of the Cadillacs and Pontiacs. So, you know. I was, and I, when I mentioned before the Ford Galaxy, I said it what I was looking at. And then I'm reading right now, and I was totally correct. So, hey, I'm not so bad at my car skills. <laughs> you know, now when you look at the car, you could, you could definitely know by far it's not an American car. In North America, we barely ever, I don't think ever, we put up side mirrors in the fender far out from the vision not really sure why is that was that done they may have their own explanations maybe has a wider view not sure not sure why but again now the model it gives me maybe because it's black it gives me a lot of like funeral car <laughs> but you know, it's just because it's a black. I imagine if it was a white car or a gray, probably could have blend better. I like the hubcap, believe it or not. They're big and bulky, chrome. It kind of blends. It works with the with the with the bumpers, the rear and the front bumper. And it has the door handles also chrome. The side mirrors were chrome and the wipers were the wiper uh not the blade, but the wiper mechanism, it was the, you know, the one that moves from back to forth in the windshield, were chrome. So quite a lot of chrome. <laughs> so the hubcaps, it did really work for it. Excuse me, work for the car. I'm even seeing the rear reverse lights were chrome uh, around it, which is, it's okay. I got the hiccups. Isn't it weird? I'm doing a video and I, get the, and I have the hiccups. Oh my goodness. But if I play the lotto, I don't win a dollar. But these weird things happen to me when I'm making a video. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, so I'm going to let the car go around a few times. And I'll be right back.
All right, guys, so I'm back. What do you guys think about these 60s Japanese cars? Do you do you agree with me that looks I like like other American cars? Do you find them to have their own unique look? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your your thoughts on this model. By the way, before I forget, this model was made by Narev, this diecast. Um, it's an okay paint, okay, I s but <laughs> Norev, probably the makers of Norev, they must be scared when I make a video of them because they think I'm going to bash them out every time I have one of these. I just find that, especially I have noticed that when they make these Japanese models for the Japanese um, market, they didn't really take care of their paint a lot. I see a bit of rash by the trunk. But it's okay, I'm not going to bash them this time, because otherwise they might think I have something against them. <laughs> Alright guys, don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up, which I truly, truly appreciate. Don't forget to click and subscribe, and like I, like I said before, in the comments, let me know what you like to see, what you guys think about this model, do you remember seeing them in person, have you ever drove one of these? Maybe you visit Japan in the 60s and 70s and you drove one of these as a rental or maybe you were in one of them as a cab. I don't know. Let me know. Have a great rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.